Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we'll be making a Pinterest inspired DIY. Yes, we'll be making DIY mini palette coasters using popsicle sticks. So, we have a lot of things to do, so let's get started. So I've got some popsicle sticks. You can use the painted ones, you can use the glitter ones. You can decorate them later or paint them later. It's really up to you. So take a popsicle stick and make sure that you get rid of the tips do that with all the other popsicle sticks you can use the popsicle sticks as is but cutting off the ends will give it a more palette look just make sure they're all evenly sized when you get rid of the rounded tips take six popsicle sticks glue them on top of each other You can use any good quality wood glue. You can also use any good all-purpose glue. I'm using the Uhu glue. It's a German brand. The word Uhu means eagle owl. And I will show you the picture of the bird here. Mmm, they look like wafers. Yummy crunch. And you need three of those. Just let them dry thoroughly. To make one palette coaster, you will need 26 popsicle sticks. Arrange the three dowels in a square shape. The middle stick should be centered as much as possible. Dab Uhu glue on the top of the dowel, then set a craft stick on top, wide flat side down. Repeat this on the other end. This will help you keep the shape of the palette and will determine how many craft sticks you need in the middle with gaps to make it aesthetically complete and pleasing. Glue the craft sticks between the two end sticks, taking care to space them evenly as you go. Let the glue dry completely. With a pencil, draw in the tiny nails. You can use a black marker afterwards and then you can fill in the nails with silver marker. If you don't want to make the nails look very fancy, simply make four dots on each end of your six craft sticks. It will add more dimension to it. Turn the palette coaster over and glue the last two sticks to complete the base. Yay, it's ready! These adorable palette coasters look like mini shipping palettes, but they're made from craft sticks. Go crazy with decorations. Use nail polishes, glitter polishes, any kind of paint, gem stickers, powder glitters to decorate the palette coasters. You can also prepare an iftar coaster. You can have coffee, mamul, and dates. This presentation will reward the person with a very traditional and authentic experience. Can you smell the roasted blend of Arabic coffee beans and the rich aroma of cardamom? This is a combination evoking comforting traditional senses that merge nostalgia with modernity. These palette coasters can be used with any kind of food items, any kind of drinks, whether it be hot or cold. Lucy is a non-alcoholic malt beverage. It has a lot of flavors such as apple, lemon mint, strawberry, pomegranate, raspberry, lemon, and peach. Each of the delicious flavors has a distinctive moussey taste enhanced with a tangy fruit essence. The combination of the classic moussey with tangy fruits appeals to most people as a purifying thirst quencher. Using the palette coasters for hot drinks, here I'm enjoying sweet chai with mint and lemon. You can pair this with dried fruits and nuts. Mmm, fresh almond. Make these awesome mini palette coasters using just some glue and popsicle sticks. So here I'm having kimchi. It is really tasty, really good. It has a good balance of salt and spiciness. And it's fermented, so it has like a very fermented taste as well. Then I'm pairing this with instant miso soup. The miso soup usually has all the ingredients in the packaging itself. It has uh, tofu, bits of tofu, uh, seaweed, and a bit of garnish. It also has a very strong smell, the miso soup, but it was very delicious. 
They're really easy and cheap to make and they look great around wooden or pallet furniture. They also make great gift wrap bases for soaps, bath bombs or other homemade gifts. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.